All right. <sighs> we have uh, in the bottom left, three point. And in the top right, we have Bion. And okay, well, I mean, I guess we just wait for a minute, right? That's early game. Not too much to do. I'll remind you guys right now. Use the command StarCraft 2. Follow that YouTube channel. Uh, me and Mapu are working on it. It's fucking great. There's going to be, you know, there's always more StarCraft 2 casts going up. Um, and there's Stormgate casts. There's, there's Zero Space casts. There's going to be more of both of those as they rotate back into, you know, playable betas or whatever. And, uh, yeah, check that out for sure. Make sure you follow my channel. Use the command MAPU for all of MAPU's links. He's our observer as always here. Would never do it without him. Could never do it without him. So it is a pool first here. We'll see what he does with that. Like, is he going to do the Ling run around where the Reaper comes over and you get in trouble? Or is an SCV going to go across from Bion? No, Bion's not going to SCV scout. So that could work. That could be a good move. If you make the six lings, you run around and then Bion sends his Reaper directly across. That's a good move. Four lings. No, only four. Okay. Still, you'll kill the SCV making the command center. It's pretty decent. Yeah, this Zerg is three point for anyone wondering. Three point is not super famous. He's known within the scene. Like if you play a lot of StarCraft II, watch a lot of StarCraft II, uh, like a lot outside of top tournaments, then you'll kind of know who he is. Definitely not someone I'm expecting to see in GSL, but uh, he's good. He's, he's, he's a good player. I mean, he cheeses every game. So like, you know, good is in the eye of the beholder, I guess. <clears throat> can I 12 pull? Yeah, I can. But uh, <laughs> no, he's obviously, you know, he's good at what he does. But you don't see him win macro games very often, huh? Oh, my God. He went pull first and made four lings and was unable, 100% unable to kill that SCV. So painful. Clap City. Uh, we have a Baneling Nest coming up. We have Mass Speedling as well. So this is just going to be a uh, one base all in. There is a very reasonable chance he just walks up the ramp and wins the game here. There is a bunker on the way. Uh, the bunker should be finishing just as he breaks through. Here we go. See the bunker? Watch the bunker. Finishing just as we break through. And, uh, well, uh, it looks like the Banelings... Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Well, I mean, I don't know, guys. Here we go. Okay. Well, it's back. It's back. Uh, how much damage was dealt? I'm not entirely sure. 19 SCVs remain for Bion. Uh, obviously, he lifted that up. Three Hellion drop going across the map. Can Bion come back from that? Come back from what? <laughs> I'm a little bit unclear as to the spot that we're really in here. It looks like Bion is winning to me. All right, three point coming up. Uh, Yeah, losing a few drones here, unfortunately. The Hellions with the Medivac, like, he's got until the Medivac gets picked off to micro these pretty heavily. All right, going to pick up and get out of there. Seven drones dead. Okay, Electro so... just subscribe. Thank you, Electral. Uh... Bion is really, really, really far ahead now. 
just slings being made. I guess he's just gonna all in from here again. I'm gonna make a few banes. There's a liberator on the way, unfortunately. The bunker still exists. I think Bion realized what's going on. Knows how he gets behind the wall. Yeah, this is uh, this is not going to turn out well for three point. I think we're going to see a GG after this fails as well, because I don't think there's any reason to stay in. All right, starts to move over with those lings. Uh, the Hellion's kiting really well on the Banes. The Banes mostly dying before they get up there. He does get the bunker, but that's it. GG. Yeah, there was nothing else. Nothing else there. Sublectual, sure, thank you. Has but play Zerg. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, a game much shorter than a delay between. I'm really glad that he decided to just leave his computer for a while while waiting for his next match. Good, high quality shit. Great decision. Definitely not selfish. Who's the goat? We'll talk about it later. Talk about it later. <clears throat> Next ASL cast, Tasteless and I will be casting in 12 hours. So, underscore spooky underscore yeah, ghost it'll be up tomorrow night. Subscribed. Like, late tomorrow night, basically. Like, sometime during my stream, probably. Towards the end of my stream is generally when it gets posted. Do I miss a 12 hour uh, case of qualifier cast? Yes, I do actually. I love things like qualifier tournaments and casting them. I love it. I love it. I think it's so much fun. It's so interesting. And I just love seeing where everyone's at, not just the top pros. I really do. I enjoy it so much. And you know, I think it, I don't know if it helps or hurts my YouTube channel because I, I try to make sure that I'm not casting, just casting flash over and over. Right. Like you see this on, on quality YouTube channels where like, for instance, like I, you know, I watch Gotham chess some, I haven't in a while, but I, I generally do. And like every other video at least has Magnus Carlson on the thumbnail and saying something about him. Right. And like, but for me, that is a little bit boring in Starcraft. Like I don't want to just cast light playing games. I think it's like, I really enjoy personally kind of keeping checked in with everybody. Um, so yeah, it's, it, I, I really like, it's like, you know, some of these other guys, Ride Sky, Scan, uh, Tengu, you know, uh, Ruin, Motive, uh, you know, just HM. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so many, there's so many of these like up and coming really strong players that I like to also watch and kind of see what they're doing. Because honestly, uh, the pros don't always dictate the meta. A lot of times the meta goes up the ladder rather than down. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's actually a very common occurrence where like people lower down will figure something out and it will float up the ladder because it's so strong. Because people people oftentimes think that the pros come up with everything and like you see it and then you copy and it goes down the ladder as people figure it out. But it's I would say it's just as often it goes up the ladder. Most hype melee match you watched last year was two commentators playing just for the gumption. Yeah, stuff like that's real. Like, uh, if you could just get two well-matched players in Brood War, it's a very good match. It doesn't have to be great players, right? It doesn't have to be the two best in the world. But if you get, like, if you get two B-rankers that are, like, well-matched, that can be a really good game. time my tactics move at the ladder but I can't probably not your tactics but someone else I'm 
No, they don't have spoilers, guy in the chat. You think they have spoilers, the thumbnails on the StarCraft 1 cast. It's not the case. Uh, because I put in things that are true and things that are false about them. And I mix that. And I make sure that I keep a steady mixture of it being true, untrue, related, unrelated. Uh, because people say that, what you just said to me all the time. And so I, it's like... Oh, you know, you're making it look like this, so I'll, like, put something up, and it'll be, like, looking like someone's about to win, and they're actually about to lose, and you don't have any fucking idea. So once you realize that, maybe you'll enjoy it more. Anyways, uh, taking a look at this game. Three point, trying to get that third base down. He'll be able to get it pretty quickly, despite the Reaper. Hmm... Yeah, as far as uh, m more mistakes makes a more entertaining game, people in general like big base trade games. If you get to a base trade, like, uh, lots of mistakes were generally made if you get to something like a base trade. Whereas people don't appreciate oftentimes, like a very one side, like this guy did this and the other guy did this and the other guy just killed him instantly. But those are actually the highest skilled games. So... It's just kind of an interesting thing. I think a lot of people don't don't quite realize what they're looking at. All right, third base gets up. Layer is uh, still coming along. It is a mech build here for Bion. I think it's not a bad choice for Bion because three point, you know, him playing a big macro game, I think is is going to be a tough one for him. Looks like he is going into Roach. Maybe he goes Nidus. Like maybe that's a maybe that's a reasonable play here. Is like a three base Roach Nidus Queen all in that type of thing, and something like that could it, maybe it would have some potential. Maybe Queen's going to help push back those uh, Hellions. That's kind of nice. Two gases at the third, one in the main. Hmm. And he actually gets an Evo. Okay. Okay, some more drones still on the way. Popping a few roaches to help against those Hellions. <clears throat> Again, with a bit of a scan here, get rid of some of this creep. Oh, almost missed one. But does go back and get it. Hmm. A lot of Cyclones at a time. Bion may just walk out with these and win the game. Like, this is this is a bit scary. We have five drones being made, and he suddenly has a bunch of Cyclones on the map. Still getting uh, Hurricane Thrusters. If any of you don't know that, you're not a real fan. I love the Hurricane Thrusters uh, upgrade. Putting a little bit of damage down there. Plenty of queens from three point to push it back, though. Couple more uh, factories on the way. Still roaming a bit. Many, many, many cyclones being made. It's like so cyclone heavy. <laughs> It's such a weird, like, battle mech is so weird looking, man. It's not like how how mech ever was. This would be like walking around in Brood War with Goliath Vulture. Yeah, he is, he is uh, gaining value here without any doubt. He's losing, like, basically nothing of value and just wrecking units left and right. Three point definitely having a hard time. The constant lock-on is just brutal here. Yeah, getting some sick picks right there. Queen's starting to pop. There's really not a lot left. Look, he's trying to make a bunch of lings to maybe clog up the, the, the targeting here of these Cyclones.
So another armory coming up. Beyond just continuing to macro pretty cleanly here. Has more workers than three point. Three point is getting a couple expands going right now. Well, starts the uh, fifth. He does have that fourth, but not really drone. Bit of an issue, of course. Gonna back up for now. Obviously, we have a ton of seed shanks at home as well. So beyond floating over his uh, fourth command center, he like he hasn't really been touched by three point. I feel like three point might have like one opportunity here. He needs to like kind of crush the army. Like he needs it coming up a ramp as he goes down. He needs Biles to hit. I'm not sure because even if he kills all those cyclones basically for free, even if you just delete those right now, right? You just grab him, hit the delete button because this is a different RTS. Uh, I think Beyond still has more than enough to hold on and just you know keep grinding through this game. So this is this is going to be a tough one without any doubt. The seed shanks sieging up like they are going to add so much damage in this. The lings are going to get cleared pretty quickly, and that's kind of how you're trying to clog this. Now he does have biles. He has a, he has a good amount of uh, ravagers. I really want to see some biles back here. That felt like a missed opportunity for biles. That looked like a perfect location. You know what? He's going to go over here. He's going to get this command center maybe. Dude, not bad, not bad. Hits it with some big biles. Unfortunately, the tanks sieging up are going to splatter a lot of the Roche Ravager. Hmm. Well, not a huge army left for Bion. Can three point actually still do it here? Maybe. Like, he's taken some good engagements. He has some map control right now. He does not have drones on his fifth, which makes me a little bit sad. He does have a really healthy drone count. It's nice to see him play a macro game and actually look pretty decent here. Nidus and uh, Hygel's Den on the way. N the Hive just now getting started. Hmm. I'm not sure what he wants to do with a Hydra's Den. I don't feel like Hydras here are helpful in any way. Vipers would be great. Broods are always a useful unit to have against mech. So good, uh, good siege line here. Hmm. Well, looks like finally three points going to pick off the rest of the cyclones that we have down here. Uh, continue those upgrades, getting a few vipers as well. I just saw someone type in chat and it kind of caught my breath for a moment. I was smiling very big that Harstam had someone in a video, I guess, that was hard stuck at 2800 MMR become Grandmaster through just cyclone all ins. That's amazing. Please, someone link me that. That's that's so funny. Harstam makes such good content. The guy is fucking awesome. <laughs> that is such a good idea. It is such a good idea. I should do that with someone. I'm like, you're just going to make two gateways in the middle of the map every game, and you're going to get A rank. They wouldn't believe it. No, you can't link here. Sorry. Link on the Discord. So, be unclear in that out pretty quickly. Seven Cyclones, three tanks at a time. All right, so the Vipers can actually make a really interesting difference here. Thank God they buffed those so they won't kill the hatch. Uh, we'll see what his uh, Blinding Clouds look like. I mean, you can use Yanks as well, but I think Blinding Clouds might be the, the play against the Seed Shanks. All right, both sides maxed out. We're going after this hatch. 
Oh my god, the Cyclones are killing so many of the Vipers before they even get there. But he actually does get some blinding clouds off. No, it doesn't matter. Not enough. Not enough. That's crazy that he just flew over the Cyclones. He's probably sitting there. He's like, oh, it's imbalanced. Literally flew over all the anti-air. Uh, so... Yeah, I think we're we're getting to the end here. You, there's just not enough gas here, really, for uh, for three point to be able to remax. All right, gonna try some counter attack in here with some Roach Ravager. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to do very much. You just kind of lift this command center and clear it out. Sieging up, continuing to push forward. Going after some of these Vipers and whatnot. GG. Bjorn, going to advance. All right. 